Hello again. I received a comment on this video which contains a criticism and two questions. So we'll take a look at that and I'll address the criticism and I'll answer those two questions. The comment comes from a practitioner of another school of Utsu Chuan. There are several different schools that practice the, the style quite differently. And he says, as a Utsu Chuan practitioner, this is complete garbage. Sam Chen isn't a superpower, and he has a face palm emoji. Rooting doesn't give you the ability to use the force. What lineage is spreading this garbage? And even worse, are folks paying for it? So I welcome criticism, as long as it's criticism of something I've actually said or actually shown, and that criticism is then backed up with facts and not merely opinions. And I welcome criticism as long as it's polite. So let's address the content of the criticism. He says, Sun Chen isn't a superpower, and he's quite right. But there's nothing in this video or in any of my videos that implies that I think anything that we practice gives you some kind of superpower. Quite the contrary. So that is a straw man argument. He goes on to say that rooting doesn't give you the ability to use the force. And I assume this is a Star Wars reference. And he's quite right. But I never implied such a thing in this video or in any of my videos. Quite the contrary. So this is another straw man argument. In fact, when I talk about force, I'm using it in its mechanical sense. That it's the interaction between two objects that results in a modification in the condition of one or both of those objects. The lesson about mechanics in this video is similar to the idea of trying to move a rock in the garden using a, a sturdy and long lever. You can see that if, if I push the rock from the wrong angle, then the, the very mass of the rock resists and with all my strength I can't move it. But if I change the angle and I use the lever for what it's designed to do, which is to lift things, then you can see that I can start to move the rock. So we apply this principle to our exercises where instead of resisting somebody's force with our own force, we're trying to not use their force against them in that kind of cliche that people use in martial arts. Rather, we're trying to find where he's rooted into the ground and move that. And once we move that, we can move him. Now to emphasize, this is an exercise. It's not a self-defense technique. It's not a fighting technique. It is an exercise. And the reason that in this video I'm standing in such an upright position and not using any particular stance to gain leverage is that I'm trying to develop sensitivity in my hands so I can feel his uh, direction of force and that I connect my whole body as much as possible and use my whole body to move him in the most awkward position for me, which is just standing upright. I don't assume a low stance. I don't assume anything or change my movement in any way except to just try and connect my whole body and use my arms as levers. So it's an exercise, not a technique. As for which lineage is spreading this, well, it's just me spreading this, but I'm of the Chi Kim Tong lineage. My direct instructor was the late master Han Kim Sen and the late master Chi certified me as an instructor. But I don't represent, I don't stand for the Chi Kim Tong organization. I simply speak for myself and myself alone. And are folks paying for this? Uh, yes, they are. I've got five students. And they pay me a modest amount, which covers my insurance costs. There has some equipment. So all of the equipment you see in my gym, I paid for out of the fees. And it covers the costs of maintaining my website. That's it. I don't do this for money. So keep the comments coming, but please do keep them factual and keep them polite. Thanks for watching.